just want to do a real quick little video, just something we were talking about this morning, my wife and I. And uh, we were talking about the similarities between the Trump pre presidency and George W. Bush um, back there in, when he was elected in uh, 2000, well, the year 2000 and 2001. Uh, and it was kind of an uh, interesting thing. Um, his approval rating was kind of not very good. And then when 9-11 happened, his approval rating went and shot right up. And I could be wrong, but I just have a weird gut feeling that uh, we're being positioned, the propaganda is positioning America for another Islamic terrorist attack. Um, maybe I'm wrong. But I just have a, a weird gut feeling about this thing because this travel ban thing, uh, he's tried it twice now and it's been, you know, overruled each time. And it's like, oh, you know, watch out, the Muslims are going to attack and all this stuff. And and they do. That's That's the thing. It's not all just inside government black ops type of stuff. I mean, there's, they will attack. Uh, but I just have this, I, this thought, you know, it's, you know, this, this Roman Catholic crusade against Islam has been going on for well over a thousand years now. And uh, that's what the wars are about. And of course, there's more wars coming up in the future. Uh, according to the book of Revelation, there's definitely going to be a few, at least, I think at least two world wars, maybe more, but um, just a thought. Just um, and you know what do you, what do Christians do about it? Well, we live in a fallen world. Don't get too comfortable in this world, and um, and you know I, I've I've got to say this. I got to put this in because I know I've actually been in contact with a lot of the different brethren on this. A lot of you have contacted me personally, and um, you asked the question: Should I get out of the city? Uh, I think that that would be a good idea. You know, I think that uh, more and more brethren, I mean, we've literally, there's, it's, the number is increasing of numbers of you that are really starting to question whether or not to live in the city. Um, and, you know, you have Lot uh, given as an example of somebody living in the end times. And, you know, Second Peter chapter 3 talks about, you know, delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Um, the cities have gotten progressively worse. Uh, there was always iniquity and things in there, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. And as race wars are on the horizon, um, you know, terrorism and things, and, and I do mean real terrorism, um, not just, I mean, even black op type of stuff, you know, that's uh, terrorism as well. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, but just something to think about, something to pray about. Um, if you're thinking, if you're in the city and you're, you're really starting to get that kind of a, tugging feeling like maybe you better leave the city um, you're not alone there's a lot of people that are like that I mean we're in a small town here and even here, even we're kind of getting a little bit weirded out I mean just like because I mean we live right off of a main highway the main highway coming up through this part of the state of Maine I realize all highways in Maine are main highways but a ah, little joke there <laughs> but uh, it just Something to think about. Possible terrorist attack coming, and if the Lord's starting to put some things in your mind about getting to a safer place, um, you'll make less money, but you're going to have more sanity, <laughs> especially you get out in an area where there's nature and things like that. You're going to be a lot happier, a lot healthier as well. So just something to think about. So i uh, going to be doing a very interesting study coming up next. Um, the most important sermon of my life. I really firmly believe that. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.